Meet nature's ultimate civil engineer, the beaver. This little unit can reshape rivers with teeth, wood, and pure persistence. Underwater, it's a stealth torpedo. Transparent eyelids act like built-in goggles. Valves close off ears and nostrils. A mammal becoming a submarine. It can stay under for five to six minutes. And that flat tail? Hydrodynamic rudder. Speaking of tails, zoom in. It's not for storing fat like a camel hump. Myth busted. It's a multi-tool. Kickstand while gnawing, radiator to dump heat, slap alarm to warn the fam, steering fin when it swims. Now the build. Watch the dam go up, branch by branch. Nature's Lego with mud and physics. Beavers slow water, spread it out. Create ponds that become nurseries for fish, frogs, birds, and a whole zip code of biodiversity. They're accidental climate engineers. Wetlands they make store carbon and buffer wildfires and droughts. Food break. Favorite snack? Aspen, hands down. Willow, poplar, birch, lily pads and other greens. They don't eat the wood core. They're after the cambium. The living layer under the bark. Now, about hunting. Plot twist. Beavers don't hunt. They're herbivores. The only thing they chase is the perfect stick. So if you're expecting a beaver to take down a trout, nope. You're seeing it foraging, trimming saplings, hauling groceries back home. Specs time. A North American beaver typically weighs 40 to 60 pounds. Some push into the 70s. In the wild, they live around 10 to 12 years. Standout individuals making it to 15. In protected settings, they can crack 20. Threats? Historically, trapping for fur and castorium nearly wiped them out. Today, habitat loss from development, water pollution, extreme droughts and heat from climate change, conflict with people when dams flood roads or fields, predators, wolves, coyotes, bears, cougars, occasional eagle-taking young kits. Cars are a problem too when they cross roads at night. Here's the hopeful part. When people work with beavers, using flow devices to control pond levels or relocating families instead of removing them, whole watersheds bounce back. Clearer water, more wildlife, fewer downstream floods. So the next time you see ripples at dusk and hear a tail slap, respect the engineer. No blueprints, no degrees, just incisors that never stop growing and a design field tested for millions of years. That's not a nuisance. That's a keystone.